Okay, so for the supplies for this bikini, you're gonna need four-way stretchy fabric, scissors, pins, thread, measuring tape, and a bikini to trace. We're gonna start by placing our bikini on the fabric and cut it out with the same seam allowance as shown in the diagram. We're then gonna cut the straps, and this is a preference so they can really be as long or as short as you like. So now we have two straps and two bikini triangles. Next, we're cutting out the strap that needs to go along your torso, and you can measure how long that should be with your measuring tape. Now we're going to place the bikini bottoms on the fabric and cut those out as well, leaving a 1cm seam allowance. To avoid the bathing suit being see-through, I decided to create a double layer, so I just pinned it down, cut around, and created a smaller second layer for the bottoms of the bikini. Then I'm going to cut two long straps that are going to wrap around the edge of the bikini as shown in the diagram as well as tie the bikini together so you can use a measuring tape to determine the length of those two straps. And then here are all the pieces we have for the pattern of our bikini. So we're going to start by attaching the two layers of the bottoms of our bikini with a zigzag stitch. And then we're going to hem the top of the bottoms of the bikini again using a zigzag stitch. And we're going to do that for the front and the back of our bikini. We're now ready to attach those long straps, so we're going to pin it down right sides facing together and attach using a zigzag stitch. Here I'm showing how our bias edge finish is going to look, which we'll sew after having attached the second strap. So now do exactly the same thing as before, pinning down right sides facing together and attaching with a zigzag stitch. I trimmed my straps down a bit because I wanted the ties and the biased edge finish to be a little thinner, but that's totally a preference. So now I'm ready to create that bias edge finish by folding the fabric over on itself and pinning it down. So making sure you're pinning both sides as well as now all the four straps that you've created on each of the corners of the bottoms of your bikini. And now I'm going to sew all along those edges as well as the straps with a zigzag stitch. Moving on to the straps for the top of the bikini, we're going to sew all three of these with right sides facing together with a zigzag stitch. Trimming away the excess, we're now ready to flip those pieces inside out. So here I'm attaching a needle, I'm going to poke the needle through, and then with that I can flip the fabric inside out and now I have my strap. Now moving on to the top triangles where I'm going to fold it over, pin it down and get ready to sew my zigzag stitch for the hem. After sewing those four sides with a zigzag stitch, we're now ready to fold up the bottom hem of the bikini top. So folding that up two centimeters, we're going to sew it with a zigzag stitch which will create a tube to then push our straps through. This is me now making the top straps for the bikini which you might have already done. And after having flipped those inside out, we're ready to attach them to the tops of the triangles of the bikini. So we're going to sew that part together, just doing right sides together, and then you're going to be able to flip it over and do a second stitch. So here's me now flipping it over and doing the second stitch and tying my knots at the end of all the straps, and you're all done. <laughs>